Hey guys, this is going to be for Taurus. We're going to be discussing today for January how we can be released from any kind of destructive love cycle so that we can have the best love we can experience, whether we're single, in relationship, or in between. <laughs> That's the best way I can think of it. This may or may not resonate with every Taurus out there. You may need to check your chart and the placements. Um, Cross watchers, you are welcome. Keep in mind that the roles could be reversed, but ultimately, if you're dealing with the Taurus, this can help you too because this will be a reading on how you can get past anything blocking a higher level of love this month for the month of January. Any kind of toxic love cycles or patterns that need to be let go or addressed, that's what we'll be discussing in this reading. If everything's peachy, I mean, you can just be watching this to make sure you can keep everything peachy. So, you guys, I also need to tell you that I do personal readings. You can book me using the Tarot Simple app with the Apple device. With that, it's free to book and to use the app to do your own free readings. And you can also use it to just learn more about tarot. Always use the Equity direct booking link as well to book me that way. For anyone that's new to the channel, welcome. I'd love if you stick around and hit that subscribe button. I would also like if my uh, returning subscribers would know that I appreciate each and every last one of you for coming back and supporting me. And if this video resonates for you, let me know down in the comments below like the video and we're about to get started so as you can see i had the nine of wands come out so there's definitely something about someone being hurt an element of basically falling down eight times but you stood back up nine you're a fighter taurus you are a warrior this person you have on your mind they see you as that they see you as unbreakable determined and resilient they know that you're a very powerful force to be reckoned with they also want you to put your guard down there's a need for you to not be so defensive taurus it's a lot of martian energy or fire energy surrounding you i'm hearing that makes you need to have to put your guard down because right now is a significant time for you we have the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck there's some karmic cycles that probably went on that you've had to heal from, but spirit is saying you're going to have to let your guard down in order for this new love to manifest for you, especially if you want it to manifest in the month of January. So we'll be taking a look as to why this person feels like you're defensive or spirit thinks you're defensive and ways that you can expect this person to maybe approach you once you, you know, decide to let your guard down so we'll be asking spirit now what is it that has Taurus so defensive okay so the three of swords something about maybe some third party connections or people in the past that you've had some ties and connections to that maybe have hurt you called you grief and made you have a broken heart that you're having to mend and the thing about it Taurus is is you know, if you release whatever it is that's blocking you, the hurt, I'm hearing that your heart will fill with so much pink love and light that your love interest is going to come to you like a moth to a flame. You're not going to have to chase this person. But there's a need for you to heal for a swords towards, you know, get back, maybe do some yoga, meditation, Anything that could really bring you back down to center, there's a need for you to ground because you're all up in your head, Taurus. And it's about some people in the past, maybe two significant, three significant people that could have hurt you deeply. And you're trying to get past that so that you can let your guard down. But I'm hearing you just need to pray, meditate. Do whatever it is that helps you release any energy that is blocking because if you do that, eight of wands, communication movement is coming in from someone. And if you're with someone, there's a need for you to maybe forgive them and let your pride down because you're divinely protected. 
And some of you, Taurus, the roles may be reversed. There may be someone that is hurt that you're wanting them to let their guard down, but there's a need for you to take a break and to give them a step back because there's some things this person needs to heal from first before they can offer you what it is you're looking for. So, Spirit, tell me more about how this person... Well, cards came flying out. Spirit, tell me more about how this person could come in for Taurus or who this person is once they do the healing and the work. Tell me more about Taurus, this person. The sun, so Leo energy. I'm hearing that it could be someone with significant Pisces in their chart or Leo, but um, something about this person could come in in Leo for Pisces season, not Leo season, but this person can come in when the sun is in Pisces. I don't know why, but the high priestess is at the bottom of the deck. That's Pisces energy. You know who this person is, the person you always wanted, the person you could see yourself having a lot of understanding, clarity, success, happiness, and healing with. Someone that you see a great, you know, expansion. The person that, you know, like I said, that pink light, they come like a moth to a flame. Spirit wants you to know that this person has you on their mind just like you have the person on your mind. Like it's like-minded. It goes both ways. They're going to be coming in quick and balanced this time because you've done the work. They're going to do the, they're doing the work too. I feel like both parties have been hurt by whatever, you know, was going on. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some clarity, um, Taurus. And we're going to see what exactly you and this person need to be discussing if they come in in January. It doesn't really seem that they're going to come in, Taurus, in January. It's seeming like you need to do some work on your own to heal in order for this person to come in. So really, Spirit, tell me what Taurus, Sun, and Rising, and Venus, or Cross Watchers can be doing or looking to do in order to help manifest this love, this sun moment in the future. What is it that Taurus needs to do to let their guard down and heal in order for this to happen? So the Eight of Swords, you need to release yourself from any self-sabotaging thoughts that make you feel like you're not worthy or that is not serving your higher good that could be holding you back from something or someone because you're in the devil energy, Capricorn. Right now, you are mentally contained by your ego and it's a need for you to silence it and release yourself from it because what you're perceiving mentally is not what's really going on. You're more free than you let yourself believe, Taurus, and it's time for you to get over that and get out of that. Come back and clear your mind, Taurus. Do whatever it is you need to do by the safest means to find peace. Spirit, tell me what else Taurus needs to know about this person. Tell me what else Taurus needs to know about this person. What is it that they will be doing in January towards Taurus, if anything? Can you tell me? So, the tower... Mars energy, Scorpio, and also Aries. The Hermit, Virgo energy, Queen of Cups, Water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. The Three of Pentacles and the Reverse. I'll just put that right there. The Reverse King of Wands. I mean, it might. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but... So what you can expect from this person, Taurus, that was in reverse, is that in the future, they're not going to be making any moves in, they're not going to be making any moves in um, January, not yet, because it's the reverse emperors. You guys are not together right now. There's something causing you guys to not be able to harmonize. Oh my God, my cat, sorry. She doesn't know how to act, but maybe that's a good omen. So there's something about there being some kind of creative block that's creating this from becoming a new. This person is going through some kind of 
you know, necessary shakeup that was divinely orchestrated by the universe that felt like the, you know, rug was pulled off and under them, basically. And it was for the greater good. And, you know, this person's taking some time to, like I said, take time to their self and also soul search and figure out what it is that they would want to you know, surrender to as they develop their emotions and become more in touch and in tune with how they feel and, you know, would like to share emotionally with someone in a connection. Queen of Cups, this is somebody that may be very intuitive and empathic. They may even, you know, feel your presence and it's like they're willing to work things out with you and they want to, you know, have like a family dynamic with you where you guys are like a team. But this person's not, they're missing in action right now. They're not here. You guys are not in union and they know it, but they do care about you deeply. But there's some things that they're taking time to heal from as they take time to themselves to get things in perspective because... They know there's some things that they need to work on in order to, you know, heal because there's something about them being emotionally undetached or emotionally unavailable to you as of right now, but it doesn't change how they feel. They can't take the action and we can see why they're not able to take action with another clarity deck. Spirit, tell me why this King of Wands fire energy, Scorp I mean, not Scorpio, but... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, why is this person not able to make any moves towards Taurus at this moment? The death in reverse, Scorpio energy. So I know I wouldn't stand Scorpio for nothing. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands. It's because they're avoiding the inevitable. They're dragging their feet for some reason because they're still processing this shakeup, this tower moment. They're still going through it. They're not done with it. Um, there's some things that they may even be not able to handle right now in order to do the work. But there's something about them. Yeah, they're, they're conserving their energy. They're not putting any time, effort into this because they're not able to. They do want an ace of cups with you, but there's something about an element of them having to hold back and, you know, not let go of something or someone in order to have new love with you. Because they want it, but there's something that they have to take care of first. They haven't completely healed and transformed, I'm hearing. Their spirit work is not over. They're still having to, you know, basically... The universe is still blocking this person. This isn't even this person. This is above you and this person, Taurus. It's not time yet. Remember at the bottom of the deck, one of these decks, there was that uh, Wheel of Fortune. I believe it was with this. It's divinely orchestrated for you guys to both still handle some unfinished business with healing. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pull some Moon Manifest cards. Any additional messages that Spirit can offer Taurus or anyone dealing with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What they can do to release any destructive love blockages or cycles from their reality for the month of january so that they can experience their higher love so what just popped out taurus was be proud of yourself last quarter moon in taurus so i feel like you're going through the last phase of your chapter before you and this person are able to be together you've been doing a lot of work taurus bottom of the deck full moon in taurus detoxify there are things you are having to remove from your life it goes back to you know this four of swords and also this hermit energy do you and this person are having to detoxify and heal from some things that are past love blockages that i'm hearing and maybe some that you caused together but there's some karma that needs to be settled first and there's a need for you to practice gratitude last quarter moon in sagittarius be thankful and grateful because when you're in the frequency of gratitude you're in the frequency of able to receive 
whatever it is that you are grateful for and want. You're just in the vibe of receiving. There's a full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. So you and this person may be at odds, but there's a need for you to breathe and find peace towards no matter what, because you doing your end of the work helps this person be released from whatever they are needing to work through as well. So team effort. Last quarter moon in Capricorn leave the past behind and i think i've been saying that the past emotions and detoxify those are your messages Taurus. i'm gonna give you some real ass messages to to close out any kind of advice spirit could have for you whenever you do talk to this person they randomly you know it's venus retrograde they might come up to you aries so some of you may be dealing with an aries or you may expect to see this person in aries season let me get you one more and see. Spirit says get you one more Taurus. And you know I'm a Taurus son, so I'm going to show y'all some love. That's way more than one more spirit. But there's also Virgo that stood out. So introspection, healing, doing some soul searching, trying to figure out where you want your life journey to go with love, Taurus. Heal. Um, Virgo is a sign of healing. If you think this person is coming this month, it's most likely a no because there's a need to do healing. Green is a healing card to me. But just know that this will be an abundant month for you regardless. There will probably still be people trying to show you attention and the money is going to be looking good for you. And that's just all you need to know, Taurus, is that you need to be grateful. You need to do the healing. You need to work on being secure and, you know, getting your bag together and not worrying about whether this person's going to come in January or not because it's looking like a big no for right now. But there is also a need for you to expect a miracle. Spirit told me to go ahead and pull that one too. So anything can happen. You never know. This person could do the work. I mean, you take this advice, they could come tomorrow. But, you know, hard heads make a soft ASS. So that's how I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> finish that out you know how us Tauruses are sometimes we're a little hard-headed and stubborn or a little slow moving but we get there we always get there as you can see i'm a living witness to that so i hope this was a good message for you guys i hope you like it and like it on the youtube you know function also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i would also like it if you would let me know in the comments down below if it resonated with you and again, you can use me to be booked for reading by the Aquity direct link in the bio description. Or you can also use me through the Tarot Simple app as well. So, Taurus, that is what I have for you until next time. Um, the best way to know when I post a reading is to, again, subscribe to the channel so I can be there in the, you know, subscriptions. And you can have the content. I do do messages by random by drawing readings so you could be you know getting a reading again um i wanted to go ahead and catch up with you guys because it's been a while and i had went through a car accident so i haven't really been there but i'm back and we about to get this ball rolling for us it's our time this year if you ain't already know all the astrologers said it's our year baby so y'all take care have a good week Taurus.